How you doing guys and welcome back. Welcome back to my favorite second spot. Because do you guys know my first spot is? You know it on the boat. So yeah, like you can see we're here back at the west coast because as much as I love being on the water and being on the boat, if I don't finish the house, it's never gonna get done. But finally we got the floor done of the house and the bathroom about 50% done. Actually, I'm gonna give you guys later on a little tour of the bathroom because it's coming out great. Uh, Ogita's doing the decoration. Oh, and by the way, thank you guys. Thank you guys uh, for those people that, you know, messaged me about my concern, my ankle. Uh, feeling much better, uh, walking around, actually doing work like I'm here today. And uh, talk about here today. Uh, we came yesterday. We came yesterday over from Miami to over here. And we noticed something. I don't know why this like a five to seven degree change in colder weather here on the west coast i don't know why like right now i'm outside and it's kind of chilly and i was just in miami and it was fine over there so i don't know i don't know if there's a lot of all the water here or whatever it is but it's a little chilly here and then today actually today we're taking a different tour uh we found something out on the market uh with at, at a really good price so we decided to take a look at it because uh i'm always you know looking for a good uh real estate deal and I think it might be a good one so we're gonna go check it out and you guys are coming along to check it out too and see see what happens see what happened now and the good thing about this house is actually more close to Sanibel and Fort Myer Beach so it's gonna save me about 20 minute boat ride on the water so uh, I'm curious about it so we're gonna go look at it today and see if what luck brings us because uh, it was pretty lucky because nowadays here in the in the real estate market and the house everything is flying so i think we found to find this at a good price is pretty uh it's pretty lucky and you know what let me give you guys an update about the mangoes here on the west coast they're getting they're getting there they're growing check them out so i take it like in a month or so we're gonna be eating mangoes right and i don't even know what kind they are but we'll soon find out right just don't tell the neighbor Check this out, check this out. Look at this. State of the art kitchen right here. Look at this. It's so modern that you can't see the cabinets. Look at that. Look at that. That's a skillet. Look at that. He's doing that. Uh... Oh, oh, there we go, the name, right? I think somebody put on the comments, uh, I think it was an Indian bread or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was some kind of a fajita or something. Yeah, nice spatula. I don't know where it is, but... That is the second skillet, because we have one for the boat and one for the new house. So, before we used the same one everywhere. Now we got smart, we got two different ones. So, you know. <coughs> it deserves some kind of credit, right? Right, right. Oh, we got a sport, sandbar life, sandbar life. You're talking about sandbar life? Yeah. Oh, and they had two. Well, talking about sandbar life, thank you guys for those people that, I guess, are loving the new two-color shirts. I like them too, it's pretty cool. Uh, I like that from white to blue. So thank you guys, it's been a good seller. Uh, thank you, thank you. We're here gonna try to get some breakfast before we hit the road. And it feels like I'm on the boat, looking at the skillet, but when I look at all this work that I have to do, it doesn't make me feel like I'm on the boat. Look at this, all this work I have to do. But it's all good, I guess. We'll get it done one day, I guess. But no worries. Be happy. So if you guys saw the other video of uh, me eating this uh, unique breakfast that Ogita makes, this one, you can eat it regularly because it has no tomatoes, so you can tilt it. So that's a way of eating a banana. It's hot. Pretty good but i guess when you put the bruschetta on it it gives it a different uh italiano taste but they still taste pretty good like this it's not you know i guess oh it's hot i guess those people are like eating um bread with everything because i like eating bread with everything or crunchy stuff they this makes your egg um taste a little different and um I don't know. I just, it's pretty good. Try it. 
Mm. So, if you notice, I'm eating in my favorite room of the house, but uh, since we're still working here, there's no accommodation, so I gotta eat standing up. I love it. I still got the view, check it out. Look at me. No. Close the door. Well, guys, like you saw, the floor is completed. Well, almost completed. He's actually missing the baseboard that, according to the carpenter, he's gonna go ahead and go this week and finish up all the baseboard trimming. But we still have plenty to go. But it's okay, though, because we like coming here, even if it has to do with work. Because I don't know what it is, but as soon as we drive into our block, we feel stress-free and like we're on vacation. I mean, I guess it's a mental thing knowing there's so much water around us and we're going to be able to go on the boat whenever we feel like it because we're going to have it right in our backyard. And here's something I like doing when I'm looking for property or real estate that I'm looking to buy as an investment. I like driving around the neighborhood to see what type of neighbors we have on our block. Like for example, the landscaping and the upkeeping of the houses because that's going to determine the value of your property in the future. Like if you see most houses are well kept and people are working on them, that's going to let you know that the property value is still going to keep going up. So we just got here to the house. Uh, I guess this is like a semi-commercial neighborhood because it has apartments across the street. I guess maybe that's why it's so cheap, but it has a great location. It's actually, like I said, it's actually about 20 minutes closer to Sanibel than, than us. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll, we're gonna browse around, see what, why it hasn't sold and why does the price keep going down? Cause that's the most curious part because once i found it it was at 429 and now it's at 379 so and it's a four bedroom so i'm curious so we decided to come and check it out see what it is see what it is what do you think it is maybe the seawall is messed up maybe know. the seawall it is needs new up. windows that's for sure so yeah that's a huge investment right there that you have to make I guess we'll find out when we go inside. I think the roof is new. We're waiting for the for May the realtor. It's a new garage. May the realtor. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the house now. The first thing I already noticed that over the years of dealing with real estate, when the grass is dying and the landscaping is not well kept, that means the inside you gotta get ready because you don't know what to expect because usually the outside is a reflection of the inside I like the layout though. Me gusta mucho el layout. I like the layout. 
Well, to my surprise, the layout of the house was really nice, but it really has to be updated. And too bad I can't really show you guys all three rooms. Well, actually four rooms, because right now we're in a master, because there were actually people sleeping in the other three. And as like you can see, every room has to be updated. And right now we're in the master bathroom. And to be honest, I don't know if I really want to deal with such a big project in updating the whole house. Because like you already know, I'm not even finished with mine yet. But you know what? First, let me go look around the back and see what's important here. But coming around the back, I saw something that kind of worried me because the two houses next door, they both need repairing. Okay, so we're here almost at the end of the canal. Well, actually we are at the end of the canal, but we're so close to, to... All right, let me show you guys. Oh, you can't see it. Uh, yeah, this is like a commercial area. That's the only thing that really is making me think. The house is okay, it needs a lot of work, but it's that commercial area. I guess I'll have to calculate some numbers and see what it is. See what it is. Mm -hmm. Alright, so look at this guys. <laughs> look at this. My gosh. I don't think this Joko ever seen wax for about I don't know. What do you think? 20, 30 years? Oh my goodness gracious. Poor boat. I'll take it though. I'll clean it up. So what do you think? Good, no good, very good, too bad. So this is a real, real, real extra fixer rubber. Uh, location is great, but the neighborhood is a little crazy. Now I know why it hasn't sold and the price keeps going down. Because the whole neighborhood is a fixer rubber. <laughs> and I mean, location is, is great, but I don't know. What do you think? Mm -mm. Don't like it, this? Yeah, it's, uh, the house is okay. I mean, it's four bedroom, but. The house needs everything. The house needs doors. No, it's that, that's not the Moldings, problem. Windows, uh, floors, ceiling. Que tiene popcorn. I know. No, the problem is not really the house. The problem is the neighborhood. The whole neighborhood is a fixer up. Back, front, side, top, everywhere. All the houses here, they have to, I guess, have to be redone and fixed because no, they're really of, bad condition. There's a lot of rental, you know, like around. And then we got on the corner there a little rental, like a six unit rental apartments. Not, not that anything is wrong with rentals, but you know, usually you have a lot of people moving in and out. So, uh, you know, that's the only thing, but I don't know. Now we know why, now we know why it keeps going down every month. I mean, not every month, but the price keeps going down all the time. It's because Yes, the whole down. neighborhood is a fixer rubber. Well, guys, now we know why the house went down so much within two months, from 429 all the way down to 379. So I thought it was a deal, but yeah, the neighborhood is another deal. But you know what? I guess it's one of those things that you gotta keep looking, keep looking. And talking about looking, make sure you guys look tomorrow for the video of the bathroom that we did more work when we got home. So we got more to show and also an update on the hydro sport and the situation with the motor because if you guys saw the last video you noticed we came home limping so stay tuned for tomorrow's video.